First, let's meet the skyline of four, the Garden City Gophers. At guard, up by 6 4 12 number one, Christian Dillion. And forward, at 6 4 12 number six, Dylan Tangle. And guard, up by 11 grade 11, number seven, Cole Penner. And forward, at 6 4 12 number nine, Trayson Marcilla. And starting at guard, at 6 4 12 number 15, Marcel Aruna Wash. The head coach of the Garden City Gophers is Mr. Phil Penner. And now, let's meet the Red Box. And guard, at 6 2 12 number 10, Ahmed Ali. And guard, up by 10 grade 12, number 11, Justin Lytle. And forward, at 6 foot grade 12, number 12, Isaac Collins. And forward, at 6 foot grade 12, number 13, Brett McMurtry. And starting at forward, at 6 2 grade 12, number 23, Cree Gang. The head coach of the Blue Red Hawks is Mr. Eric Bay, assisted by Mr. Mark Lewis and Mr. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live here from the gym here at Bedford Road Collegiate in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. 48th annual. Here it is. Number. Can you believe it's been 48 years already? <laughs> this feels like yesterday. <laughs> well, here's the first tip-off. 12 teams. Hey, one winner. That's right. Coming off back-to-back -back championships for Regina's Labolda Suns here. They're back again this yep. year, looking to three-peat. Yep. Lost a couple really good key players off of last year's team, but they're always strong. In the opening game of the tournament here, the host Bedford Road Red Hawks taking on um, the Garden City Gophers out of Winnipeg. Out of Winnipeg, yes. North End. Garden City has been here for the last six years. For the last six years and, and made an appearance in the final, I think it was three years ago. You know, I think they, that they, might have been the first year I was involved, yes. Yeah, you might be right. But I mean, they, they have a tradition of, of being a pretty strong team, but haven't yet in their six years at Brit been able to win one. Well, so, is this their year? I, According to Nick's predicts, they could make a push. They could. I, I mean, year after year after year, they're in the kind of top two, three in, in Manitoba every year, you know? You know they always the, have a good team. Uh, the 15 minutes that I watched them in warm-up, they look good. They do look good. Yeah. They were, they they were uh, tinkling the twine quite a bit here. Tinkering the twine. I love the Ooh. alliteration of it all. Bedford Road, I, I, I would suggest, has probably the strongest team I've seen in the last four or five years, so that's always a good sign. Yes, they definitely um, have seen improvements in the program under Coach Faye. Definitely, yeah, yeah, Coach Faye, I mean, this is their second year as the Red Hawks. Yes, that's true. Um, um, after a bit of a name and logo change, we're not going to get into that, but, but Coach Faye has, has been here since the start of the Red Hawks and, and been consistently improving. Same fighting spirit, same tradition, yep. commitment. The excellence. You bet. You said it. Tradition, commitment, excellence. That w that's what we do here. Um, that hasn't changed. Couple grade 12 leaders. I'm going to point out right off the start here for the Red Hawks. Uh, number 23, Cree Ben, is, mm -hmm. has been a real go-to guy the last two years. Yes, he has. Uh, number 13, Brett McMurtry. Number 12, Isaac Collins. Number 11, Justin Lytle. And number 10, Ahmed Ali. All grade 12 starters um, and leaders on the team. But they, they do tend to play. Um, most of their bench throughout the game. Yep, they're not know? they're not afraid to uh, get the boys off the pine and nope. get them uh, having a run. Keep them fresh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have to, um, uh, you know, score by committee here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to have to be a, a, an exactly. entire group effort. Yeah, they really are a team. Hey, Ali, <laughs> and the Red Hawks get their first points of Brit. Uh, we're all tied up here, minute and a half in. And that is one thing uh, we might as well let our fans know. It's a bit of a faster pace here at Bedford or at the uh, the Brit Classic, eight minute quarters. Right. You gotta okay, be so quick. You gotta move the ball, and that's close to play into uh, Garden City style. They're a bit of a run and gun offense. <laughs> that's what Coach Penner likes to do. Yeah. Um, that that was Marcilla here for three, giving the Gophers here an early 5-2 lead. Cree Ben's got it up at the top here. Kicks it outside to Ali. He fakes. He's going to drive up top to McMurtry. McMurtry takes it down the pipe. Collins! Collins has to get those. Can't make good here. Good passing all around. No go. Rebound picked up number seven. Cole Petter. He 
he puts her in. Wonder if that's any relation to Coach Penner. Cole Penner, Coach Penner. I don't know how many Penners are um, Fred Penner. <laughs> there you Is go. He's from Winnipeg as well. I, I don't know. He's Canadian. Is he? I believe so. Yeah. Hell of a guitar player. <laughs> oh. What's up, a Penner? Brick? Can't make it go. Number nine. Ooh. That's Art out. City. That's Laying out. a few bricks there. That's okay. Seven to two early lead. Justin Lytle put on some height here over the last few years. I remember when he was uh, just a little bit Justin nine. Lytle, yeah, you, you know what, you're he's right. gotten a little taller, rocking the cornrows, going for best hair, I think. Oh, he's, you know, there's always a bit of a competition at Brit, best hair. In, it's impromptu, and, you know. and only you and I keep track, but you're right, you're right. Yeah, it was definitely not a formal award. No, we usually look to best socks as best well. Socks was new. Uh, best compression pants, I think we brought in last year. All sorts of fashion. Last year, pink was in. Mm -hmm. Guys, the pink shoes, pink socks, yeah. pink pants. And we'll obviously kind of ha always have best kicks of the tournament. Well, well. yeah, you got to look at kicks. Fifteen kicks Heard it up. out. Up top, De Leon can't get it to go. Penner. Penner picks up the rebound and puts in the two. It's a 9-2 lead here for the Garden City Gophers. Lytle carrying up the ball for the Red Hawks. Kicks it outside to Ali. A lead back to Lytle. He puts it up. Can't get to go, but he's fouled on the play. I think the foul is going to come to number one, Christian De Leon. Yep. Oh, De Leon. Put a little French accent yeah, 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 on yeah. that. If, uh, I mean, Jordy Hewton, um, the the the, man, the legend, the, the legend of Brit announcing says De Leon, a little French accent. So I'm going to go with it. Knowing Hewton, he probably interviewed the coach and got. Oh, I'm, sh I'm sure he did. Hey, you know what? Coming from Winnipeg here, right? Uh, you know, big uh, Métis settlement mm -hmm. uh, of, of French uh, ancestry. Canada's past. Yeah, lots of French ancestry in, in Winnipeg. Selkirk, Bosch. Beauchazier. Mm -hmm. Aruda Welsh. Wow, Garden City really moving it around. Penner! Penner's got <laughs> 10 unanswered points, I, I want to say, for, for the Gophers. You know, maybe it's only 8 unanswered points, but we really need a statistician here in the booth. Yeah, we do. we got to up the Brit budget. we, we got to hire a statistician. I'm Come on. I'm trying to eat popcorn, hot <sighs> dogs. I say you and I both sucked down our first Brit dog of the we weekend here. We're the already. Yeah. Strong start. You're right. Next year we got to up the budget here. Maybe even get some real commentators. I'm, I'm sure the fans at home would appreciate that. I'm sure. <laughs> for those of you tuning in from home who don't appreciate us, I get you. I don't. I don't really appreciate you, and you don't I, appreciate hey, me. I barely appreciate myself. My um, wife doesn't appreciate me. Uh, uh, there you go. Uh, but uh, we're gonna remind you. I'm sure your computers have mute buttons. Put us Feel on mute. Use them. Play okay. some music in the background. Right. Enjoy the game. Yeah, exactly. You don't need to listen to us. I think we ruin it for most people. So we're not offended. We don't even know when you put us on mute. So That's it's all right. good. You're not hurting our feelings. No. Tangle. Oh. No dice. Lido picks up the rebound. He gets up into the game for the Red Hawks. Number 15, Yusuf Nabi. Coming in for Ali Umar. Or pardon me, um, um, Ahmed Ali. Ben's got upside. Kicks it to McMurtry. McMurtry down to... Oh! Collins couldn't get it to go. Collins can't seem to find his rhythm. No, yeah. Had that easy one, kind of... Yeah. Got the dish from McMurtry. Oh, I wonder why they... Why they play right. their shoes with their hands. Is that the dust thing? Yeah, I think so. The floor does tend to get a little dusty. I usually get the old... Oh, you spit on your hands and then rub the shoes. That's what I like to McMurtry's do. McMurtry's got to drain those from the charity stripe. The old charity stripe. <laughs> the old charity stripe. McMurtry can't get it to go. Oh! Misses them both. Lucky for him, Ben's there to pick up the rebound. How, how's the camera doing? Is she moving it? Rebound yep. picked up she by Marcilla. Okay. 
Jordan Cashin into the game for the Garden City Gophers. Oh! I would like to do it. Dials long distance on that three. one. That's the second of the game. Let's go. As well into the game, Miguel Guevara for the Garden City Gophers, number 11. Lionel to the line. Lionel rocking some nice purple socks. Oh, different. Yeah. Stepping out of his comfort zone here in his senior year. Yeah. And every, everyone on the court now for the Red Hawks were, were um, pretty pretty big contributing members to the football team. They so were. kind of dual sport athletes yeah. for, for the five uh, Isaac starting Red Hawks. Uh, quarterback, yeah. Brett McMurtry there. The receiver. Cree Ben, the receiver, Lytle running back slash receiver, Yusuf Nabi, a uh, defensive back corner, so. <laughs> oh, cer certainly not strictly focused on basketball. These, these are guys who, you know, all, all kind of, yeah, yeah. Well, all, well, all yeah. August, September, October, they're playing football, November, December, January, February, they're getting into the uh, basketball, so. I, l I like to see that. Contributing your school in a variety of ways. A bit of a travel there, drop the shoulder. Oh, oh, ball, ball background coming through there. Just about had to steal. That's Marce Marcilla can't get it to go. Rebound is picked up by Penner. They jostle for it. It's going to stay go for his ball. Garden City up 17 to 8 with a minute and a half left to go in the first quarter. Lots of time left. Be interesting to see how much of the bench Garden City is going to use. Um, not th not to take anything away from the Red Hawks, but I think Garden City knows that they'll you know they'll push the pace here. Do they want to risk injury? Yeah. Do they want to get everybody involved early? Yeah, I mean. Oh, with the hey, there you go. Nice job from Mr. Lytle. But you're right, it's been a lot of years since the since the Red Hawks were, you know, kind of tournament favorites. Oh, I mean, eight. We, yeah, we, we won it the first year um, and haven't won it since. Um, but you certainly can't count us out. Though, though we're not tournament favorites, um, I know Coach Faye certainly has some high expectations of them this year with, with so many great 12s. Make oh! That's what I'm talking about! Three, all of a sudden it's a four point game, just like hey. that. Four points. That's that's two baskets. Wait, two foot. Yeah, that's two uh, baskets. Yeah, no, you're right. Get a, uh, yeah, yeah. A, th a four point play. Like a three pointer mm -hmm. foul. You could, you could do that too, sure. Yeah, there's all, all, all kinds of ways to get four. We just listed two of them. Right. Oh! The game changes so fast. I look up and it's not four. Now it's a six point. Umar Ali with the giveaway there. He's into the game here. We're playing a little his more brother. with ball security. He's, he's looking a little, uh, a little nervous. Maybe, maybe uh, Umar is to, to start the game. I get you know he's a great, great eleven. Um, first time playing in Britain. First time on the court. It's going to take him a few minutes hey, to kind of get his bearings. Nerves and, for a reason. Well, they are. McMurtry into Lytle. Five seconds left on the clock here. Going on set up one last shot. Lytle's going to put it up. Bruno Welsh gets his hand on the last uh, three point play of the game. At the end of the first quarter, Garden City 19, Bedford Road 13. Hey. See Coach Bodner all on the court there on, on the Red Hawk bench, kind of giving some advice there to Yusef, to showing him some some kind of defensive positioning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, to be a fly on the wall in one of those huddles, you know what's being said. Right. 
And as you can see from home here, Ford Crew is out there running. That uh, this year's Ford Crew is the is the junior basketball team, the, the the Red Hawk Blue and the Red Hawk Green basketball team. They're here the whole weekend doing the Ford Crew. The the junior senior football teams do the parking lot, which in traditional Brit fashion, dipping an extra 10, 15 degrees for the yeah. start of the turn. It's been beautiful all week. All of a sudden, it's like, it's like Mother Nature knows it's Brit weekend. It's time to get cold. We're going to dip down here. We're going to look at minus down. 20, 25, minus 30 overnight here. Mission. No Aussies this year coming for the culture no shock. So, I mean, yep. this year, uh, um, teams from Alberta, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan, so those Prairie boys are used to this. Mm -hmm. This ain't going to be hurting Prairie. Nobody's going to be afraid. It's always the BC teams coming in. We got flowers here in Vancouver. It's been so cold here. The Aussies last mm -hmm. year, it's so mm -hmm. cold, right? This year, it's an all Prairie competition. They're tough. Yeah. And it's going to be all Prairie on the floor here. You betcha. A little toughness. Six point lead, Garden City. I've been impressed by a few players from Garden City so far. That Cole Penner. Yeah, 15. number seven. Yeah, Morcilla as well. Yeah, yeah, he, he hit a couple threes. Aruda Welsh had, had that big stuff there mm -hmm. at the end of the quarter. Yep. Aruda Welsh also making a, a, a run for maybe top pair of the tournament. So far, I'm liking what he's got there. So far, he's looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Still so early. I don't want to make any predictions. He's got got some great braids, kind of yeah. pulled back into a bun with, yeah. with, with a with a headband. Yeah, a pretty good cool look. look. Yeah, good yeah, look. really cool look. Isaac Collins drained a three there. What? The pole Bedford Road within. You look down. Oh, Jordan Cash to number five on a Garden City. Things opening up here. Both teams dialing long distance. Exchanging threes here to start the quarter. What's uh, the sir, call here? 15, yeah, foul on the play. Um, Marcel Aruda Welsh, number 15 for the Garden City Gophers. He gets called. Looks like that's his third of the game. And it's early on. I'm wondering if that could be a, a mistake there on the score clock. Perhaps not. Mistake where? Um, it's, it says it's Aruda Welsh's uh, third foul of the game. I. Mm. Ooh, yeah. No, nope, no, nope, they fixed it there. It's sh showing now his first foul of the game. I thought that looks a little better. And I didn't see three yeah. fouls. Yeah, okay. me neither. McMurtry makes it to the line. Ben... Out to Collins. 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 Drain those. The air ball. Lucky he's at the home quarter. Else it would have been the air ball. Right. Chant. Crowd getting involved. This, this, yeah, this local crowd usually isn't too too nice to the other town teams when they put up an air ball. Very right? true. <laughs> Very true. Usually hear about it. Lytle outside to Alley. Alley's looking for somewhere to go. Gives it to McMurtry. Back to Alley. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Kicks it out to Collins. Collins. Doesn't make good, but Lido picks up the rebound. He slows it down, takes it to the outside, kicks it outside to Cree. Slowing the pace here, the Red Hawks. Yeah, yeah, they're they're actually they're looking calm. fairly comfortable out here. I, I like what I'm seeing. Not trying to force anything, right? Ali just gave up the ball. He's uh, got to be a little more aggressive when he hits the floor. I think so too. Yeah, yeah, right. If you hit the floor, get rid of it quick, right? Well, hang on to it as well. I mean, you got to fight for there that There we ball. go. Turnover on the play. Red Hawks are looking good now. Oh, Ben looked like he wanted to put that up. Thought twice about it. Lytle to Collins. Collins, little post move. Oh, doesn't get, get it, it to go. go. Darn it. To Aruda Welsh. He's going to kick it upside to Marcilla. Oh, oh that's his third of the go. game. Makes it go. Red Hawk, Red Hawk time out. I'll tell you, it's unfortunate they, they kind of rushed down, popped that easy three. Because I actually thought that, uh, I actually thought the Red Hawks were looking good the last couple of minutes, really slowing it down, slowing looking composed. Yep, not panicking. I mean, that must be something that came out of the huddle there. You're right with them. Yep. There's no need to panic. I can see Garden City pulling away a bit here, but uh, hey, couple, uh, couple fouls, couple free throws, and you're right back in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, I, I, I like the way the Red Hawks have looked here, but but Garden City, they look so calm out here, don't they? Like, I don't know. They they 
zero panic in their game. Yeah, yeah, and, and they look comfortable shooting from the outside. Put, put up a lot of shots. I, yep. I think they, they've yep. hit four threes on the game. It's interesting to see how they push the pace here in the last five minutes and 37 seconds in the, yeah. in the first half. Yeah. Do they want to get a comfortable lead and then uh, go to the bench? Or do they just want to maintain a, a you know an easy pace? Maybe you don't want to run up the score against the hosts. You know, maybe that's bad taste. Or, I mean, have you ever thought maybe they are trying to run up the score? Or maybe the Red Hawks are just defending well? Either way, it's been a pretty pretty evenly matched Yeah, it has been, actually. So For those of you tuning in from home, winner of this game plays tomorrow at 2 p.m. on the A side. Loser of this game plays tomorrow at 12.30 on the B side. In case you're following anyone in particular, there you go. Five and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Red Hawks down nine. Had it within four there at, yep. the, at the start of the second quarter. Collins with some energy. Jeez, he looks fired up. He does. He's got a. He never looks that fired up in my history class. <laughs> no. Yeah, it doesn't have that same passion. It's because you're boring. Oh um, well, it's not my fault. The history's boring. Hey. How dare you, sir? <laughs> There's nothing boring. Oh, wow. Wow, about Canadian history. Jordan Cashton hits the three. <laughs> his second of the game. Yep. Garden City Gophers coming from Winnipeg's north end. I've never been to Winnipeg. You've never been to Winnipeg at all? Never had the pleasure. To s the center of Canada, the geographic center of Canada, and you've never been. Nope. It is the heartbeat of Canada. Wow. <laughs> Dylan Tango with a beautiful shot. I'd, I'd uh, well, I, I, I'm heading out to Winnipeg in February. But one, one thing um, that's uh, that I'm excited for to go to Winnipeg is, is the new museum, okay. the Museum of Human Rights. Interesting. Yeah, brand new. I, I've walked uh, by it a few times. Is it never human right to go in for free? Well, no. You have the human right to pay for it. They, oh. I, they have the human right to, to deny you admission okay. if you okay. don't have your cash I on you. About, you. I don't know, know what it costs, but um, I think it just opened this past summer. So okay. I'd, I'd really like to check that out in February when I get down there. Okay. And okay. of course, take a walk by the Forks. It's quite romantic down there, and all mm. that. You know, there, there's a lot of a lot of history in in Winnipeg, and it's a it's it's a it's a good town that gets a bad rap, I think, out well, here in Saskatchewan. I'm sure they're happy. They have hockey back there. That's um, right. Jets again. The back. Jets just finished hosting a great. Cup in their in their newish stadium. Yeah, lots happening. Lo there is a lot happening in Winnipeg. Collins picks What's up the rebound. What's happening here in Saskatoon is we have the Garden City Gophers uh, extending their lead a bit here now. Let's see if Bedford can claw back in before half. McMurtry showing those receiver hands. Ooh, little finger roll. No, uh, dice. no dice. Yeah, rebound picked up by Tagle. Tagle's jostling with McMurtry. McMurtry looks a little frustrated here after that miss. Tagle looked like he wanted to shoot. He kicks down to Masilla. Gets it to go. Gets the foul. Marcilla's look good. I, I think Marcilla, my guess is he's got 12 or 13 points here on, on the day so far. Three threes, couple twos. He's going to shoot a free throw here. Just coming in on our right here looks like Bishop Grandin out of, jeez, uh, are they out of Edmonton, Alberta? Calgary, I believe. Calgary. Bishop Grandin out of Calgary. They're, they're going to play Bishop James Mahoney out of Saskatoon in the game immediately following this one. So a couple bishops yep. going head-to-head, -head. one yep. from Calgary, one from Saskatoon, both highly ranked teams. Uh, make sure you stick around and catch that one after this. Yeah, there's going to be some great basketball from here on out, folks. This game heating up as well. I see the score has now changed to 16-1. to 1. Oh, no, <laughs> no, little, little mistake there. Score clock, got to figure it out. 34-16 to 16 here. Gashton, no dice. Rebounds up for grabs. Penner picks it up. It's still up. Kreben picks it up the second time here. He's going to carry it up. Oh, looked like he wanted to shoot there. Thought twice. Lytle over to McMurtry. McMurtry's going to go back to Lytle. Lytle Collins in the paint. Down low to Collins. Oh, and he gets it to go. He makes good on it. Breaks the, the three-minute Red Hawk drought there that we had going on. What a bit of a drought, yes. We're back on the board now. 
Oh, that was Penner. Garden City doubling up the Red Hawks right now, 36-18. McMurtry's got up top to Ali. Ali outside to Lytle. Lytle down low to Collins. Ooh. That's uh, Garden City ball. McMurtry couldn't quite get to it before it went on the back. Christian De Leon's in for Garden City. Out to Marcelo. Marcelo. It's another three. That's four on the game. They have some great shooters on this team. Yeah, I can yeah, see they they're do. They're not afraid to go deep. They're not afraid to dial long distance. And there's been multiple players. You know, we're looking at um, be a Penner. <coughs> Who else do we have? Marcella. Penner's been Jordan shooting Cashin's them. Cashin's been shooting yeah. them. Yeah. And, and I mean... They aren't the biggest team, so, no, so I'm looking at the heights here. They don't have anybody over six. No, so I, I'm not surprised that they are trying to really push the tempo and shoot from the outsides, right? They, they kind of know they're they're not going to out muscle and outsize teams, so they're looking at their speed yeah. and their shooting, kill from the perimeter. Which I mean, that that's just good coaching, right? You, yeah. you play to your strengths. You don't try to get sucked into anyone else's game. You play yours. That's right. That's right. Legendary referee Kelly Bowers with the call there. You, you said it right, legendary. Some form of elbow. He pointed to his elbow. I'm assuming that was an elbow. Okay, okay. It could be wrong. It could have right. meant forearm shiver or it could have meant bring me a Brit dog. <laughs> I want a Brit dog. But yeah. Ketchup Keep and mustard. Ketchup and mustard. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Oh, McMurtry just gets his pocket picked. He puts it up. Doesn't get it to go. Play keeps rolling. He beat the shot clock. Oh, DeLeon took that. Couldn't get it. McMurtry's got her back. Up the floor. Bedford still holding some poise here. Down by 19. Oh, yeah. This game ain't over yet. Not a chance. Plenty of basketball here, folks. Collins with a beautiful shot. Nice. Ben set it up, gave him the dish, and Collins put her home. Collins making an effort here for player of the game I'll on, say on behalf of the Red Hawks. Started slow. I know we commented he missed a couple easy ones early on. He's looking comfortable now. He's, he's really falling into the zone. I would say he's down low on, in, in the paint. He's put on a couple post moves in close, but he's also shot a couple threes. Yep. So it looks like he's kind of getting comfortable uh, in every space offensively, which is nice to see. And that was Tagle uh, just prior to that uh, with another three. We really need to keep track of who's scoring threes here. We need a stats person. We need a stats person. Let, let's let's talk to Britt Chair and Nicole Poyer. Let's let's up the budget here yeah, next. We need year. a stats person. Stats. Stats. Dylan Tagle decided. He said. Tagle just got up. Dylan Tagle says, "Well, everyone else here is shooting threes. You guys mind if I try?" That's right. Boom. Okay. Nobody's being left behind. Oh, folks. Here we are at the end of the